2010 Entertainment Weekly said he's one of the top 10 comics to watch. And it's that same year, though, Pete Corielli's first one-hour stand-up special landed on a top three list. In May, Pete filmed his second special, this one for Showtime. It'll be released in November. This summer, he's doing stand-up at clubs across the country. The Funny Bone this weekend in Omaha. That's Pete right. Corielli, good to see you, Pete. Nice hey. to see you, How sir. You How about that intro, here. huh? There's a lot of numbers. We had 2010, it, it, top 10 comics. Resume. Yeah, and uh, 2010. It's like in 1980, <laughs> no. this guy was on fire. <laughs> five years ago, <laughs> you got on pretty well. No, but I think yeah. that it was five years ago that your first <laughs> Special came out, and yes. so it's cool that you've got another one coming. But I think it reflects well, the amount of work that goes into yeah, this and stuff. Yeah, 2015 is a big That's year true. for you with That's this true. special, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. No, this is, uh, yeah. As my wife says, this year you get put on the map, or we put the map away and we get a new job. <laughs> <laughs> Not a chance. Well, what's the deal uh, with this special, though? Tell us about this. Uh, well, I filmed it in Chicago. And um, I wanted to film it in New York where I live and stuff, but uh, tax purposes made it easy to do it in Chicago. Uh -huh. But no, I filmed it, you know, for Showtime, and um, it was great. It was great. It comes out, like I said, in November. Yeah. The difference about Showtime and Comedy Central is the audience is a more is adult, more, you know, Comedy Central mm -hmm. tends to have a young audience. Mm -hmm. um, this is not very exciting, what I'm saying right now. I'm looking <laughs> at it, the audience. I'm under a lot of pressure. There's a comedian that was in here the other day, and he goes, T.J. Miller was on the show. He was so funny, it went viral, and he sold out. He could have been the next mayor of Omaha if he wanted to do that. So all night, I'm at home in the hotel room drinking my beer, going, how am I going to be funny tomorrow with these two? And I come on, and you're plugging something from 1972 right out of the gate. Stop it. Oh, We're this plugging is a something from 2015. By the way, I heard you were the Italian of the year. No, hey. <laughs> We got a I hear you're in with the sons of Italy. They booked me for a gig, and then they canceled the gig. I think it's because they found out I'm half what? Irish. If any of you sons are out there listening, I know what's going the on. The really mafia crap going on with them. I'll get you down there. We'll got to be down totally there. Italian no. to do a gig for these guidos. You're in with Mike. You're in anywhere. <laughs> what? You with Mike? You're in anywhere. Right, we'll, yeah. we'll take you down He's there. You're royalty. Uh, uh, no, but Italian, so did though, you grow up Mike. Italian? Did you uh, eat meatballs and spaghetti or what? Yeah, but I mean, my wife's Polish, and she ate meatballs and spaghetti <laughs> growing up. I mean, who did? Italians got the best. But did you have Sunday? Dinners. I mean, how Italian uh -huh. are you? Yes, we did. Well, we had Sunday. My dad would make pizza. Yeah. That was our Sunday uh -huh. dinner, homemade pizzas, which was basically raw dough with some sauce on it. <laughs> uh -huh. Never cooked it long enough. Right. Well, like his great aunt Sarah, he says, makes the best pizza ever. Yes, he is. Oh, Sarah. Yeah. He, yeah. he gets deep into the Italian stuff. heritage, yeah. the culinary yeah. stuff. My uh, mom so almost married. married uh, it's funny because we were on a road trip recently. We were going to a wedding, and my father was driving. There's a town in uh, New York called Horsehead, New York, mm -hmm. nondescript town. But when my dad and mom were younger, uh, when they went off to college, my mom dated a guy in between my dad when they were gone, and the guy was from Horsehead, New York, and he asked my mom to marry him. He was an Irish guy. Mm -hmm. And she said, no, because I'm dating this other guy. It was my dad. And the guy sold shoes for a living. So now every time, and this, we haven't been by Horsehead in years, but every time we go by Horsehead through the years, my father is so tired. He'd be like, yeah, Horsehead, you could have been living here with a guy who sells shoes. Sell shoes. I saved your mother's life. <laughs> Horsehead. Uh, we were hmm. asking you about those escaped prisoners. You talk about New York yeah. and where well, you, you live, where you're from. Near there, right? Well, no, I live there now, um, not too far from where the uh, prisoners escaped. How crazy maybe. was that, though? I yeah. mean, for, for the people who are living there, I mean, those of us living states away, we could just kind of watch it on TV, but mm. if you're living there, it's a different story. Yeah, it is. I mean, you know, on one hand, you're like, it's like, Still, I live 45 minutes away. But on the other hand, you go to put the garbage out at night, and it's kind of dark, and you hear a noise like, who is it one of the guys? Is he behind my garbage can? <laughs> That'd be good for my career, though, right? If I caught if one you of those guys. Him? You oh, would have yeah. been a heck of like, a soundbite on the was, 6 o'clock news. Yeah, I would have imagined right? you. Yeah. I'd be like, it was very dangerous. But I rounded the bend, I tackled them, and uh, I had three shows at Omaha Funny Ball this week. <laughs> <laughs> but did you fought, were you in town? Because I know you travel a lot. Were you around? Yeah. Were you in town when they had the manhunt going on not too far away? Yeah, I was. Mm -hmm. I was. It was funny, my parents came to visit during that time period, and my in-laws were there. I just, this is such a funny story to me, but where I live now, the cost of living is very cheap mm -hmm. compared to New York City. And my dad it did kind of well for himself through the years. So we're in front of my house, my new house, and the house next to mine is for sale. Smaller house, but nice. And my father-in-law worked at a steel plant his whole life, real America, you yeah. know, blue-collar kind of a guy. Right? And uh, at one point, Somebody, my brother goes, oh, I see a house is for sale. How much is it going for? And I go, oh, it's $105,000, right? And my father goes, Jesus Christ, I'll take two. <laughs> <laughs> My father law wasn't there. I go, Dad, you can't talk like that. <laughs> so he goes, I'm just saying, $105,000. <laughs> <laughs> well, Pete, 
Pete's at the Funny Bone all weekend. Tonight, two shows. Tomorrow, Good. two shows. And Sunday, he's got the Love 7 o'clock show called call The Bone Phone. Tickets. That's right. You said it. The Bone Phone. I said it. Usually, she says it. Or you can get tickets Pete. online. FunnyBoneOmaha.com. <laughs> Good to see you, buddy. Yeah, thanks for having thanks me, Thanks for guys. being here, yeah. sir. Gotcha. We'll be right back. Bridge Beats. Rolling on. Matt Whipke's here to take the stage.